All right, everyone, welcome back. We are going to look at STX really quick. So the last time we were looking at this thing, we were back here getting stuck at that 124, 125 level. And we are currently flipping bearish on STX here. So we did just lose our 21 day EMA. We have a new candle that spawned in here. We're sitting right on our 786 at 90. We are currently at 91.5 and we did have a bearish cross on the MACD here. So all signs as of now are pointing down slash sideways on STX here. Looking over at the Heikinashi candles, we are printing deep red once again. So the trend has officially flipped bearish here for STX. So what to watch for? Keeping it simple here. Uh, you do have the trend and the momentum to the downside at the moment. So just simply watch 90. If you lose 90 cents on STX, your 618 at 80 will be up next for about 11, a little over 11% drop. You do have your 50 day EMA here. So you may end up meeting that here for extra support at this 80 cent level. So I would expect that at least, uh, at least at about a 12% drop on STX here down to this 80 level. If you end up losing 80 on STX, then you're probably going to come back down to lower prices. Uh, you can see your uh, 200 day EMA is all the way down here at 52 at the moment. So just kind of keep an eye on those two prices there. We may be uh, doing something like we did back here where we're coming uh, back down to test our 50 day moving average as support before we bounce and move higher. So I would just keep an eye on those two prices to the downside. If you end up holding your 786 here for a bounce, that would be extremely bullish for stacks here to move to higher price targets. So just watch 90 and then watch 80. If we hold 90 here and we move back up, you can see we need to get back over this dollar range at a dollar five for about a 15% move just to get up to that level there. So you want to get over a dollar to get your momentum back to the upside. And you want to hold the 786 here at 90, but ultimately you want to hold 80 here for support and for a bounce. Uh, but you could uh, in fact come down here to your 618 at 80 bounce, get rejected at 90 and then just kind of fall off the table like this. So just keep an eye on all those different prices there on stacks. And with that said, we'll leave it at that. Not financial advice. Thanks for watching, everyone. Peace out.